going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching and welcome my friends to part 3 of the Kong Head 6x6 build project. This is a 118 CL 6 well driven uh, off-road truck from Tami or Tamaya, ever how you pronounce it. It's totally fine with me because I sometimes just don't really know how to you know, pronounce the name because some people say Tamaya, some people say Tamiya. I really don't know so I say Tamaya because it just sounds kind of right to me instead of Tamiya. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know sometimes? But uh, you know, so far I'm, I'm halfway through the, the build. It's been actually a fairly easy build to put together. Uh, as long as you follow the instructions, you have no problem, which they do a really good job at, uh, at their instructions, as you see here. Uh, just gives you really play by play on how to put it together and stuff like that. So, really easy kit. Now, uh, this video is going to be focusing on installing the shocks and the steering servo as well. I'll, uh, now I've gone ahead and put five of the shocks together. There's no sense of actually filming all six shocks being put together so I decided to go ahead and just uh, put five of the shocks together and then film one of them being put together. So uh, that way it saves a little time on the video. But this is the finished product here. Now these are damper shocks meaning they have no oil in the shocks. It's basically uh, like a rubber tubing in here, which is right here, this little rubber tub tubing. You cut a little bit off, about 12 meter, yeah, 12, 12 meters, 12 millimeters. And uh, you know, it just goes right inside the tube here, and then that just kind of just slides against that. So that's how that works. Now, I, I had somebody ask me, am I going to upgrade to oil shocks instead of these damper shocks? Now, I don't, right now, not right now, I'm not going to do it right now. But I don't know the difference between damper shocks and oil shocks. If these are actually better than oil shocks, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If uh, damper shocks are good or oil shocks are better. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I never dealt with an RC that had damper shocks. All the ones I've dealt with is oil shocks. So yeah. Now, as far as electronic wise, what am I going to go with electronic wise? Uh, well, I'm going to show you guys here because I do have a little selection to pick out. Now, right here behind me, guys, is my RC display turntable type ordeal thing. Uh, this is an old sunglass display uh, where you know it has sunglasses on it, and uh, got this thing, and I was like, you know, it might be a good idea to put parts on there. Actually, I can't take full credit. My uh, my uh, my ex actually got this for me, and she when it passed me the idea, it's like, hey, you could put all your RC parts in there, your controllers, your batteries, and stuff like that. And I was like, good idea. So that's what I did. So I, as you see here, I got all my controllers right here. Uh, and then turn it around. I got some uh, some more spare parts, tires, and stuff. I got the Super Swamper TSL XLs, the large version, 1.9s which I'll be using those in an upcoming video here, so stay tuned for that. So I got some more parts here for the Tamiya Hummer and um, some other stuff. And then over here, I have all of my servos, ESCs, motors, everything. So let me grab the camera so I can give you guys a uh, close-up view on it. So bear with me for a moment. All right, so here you go. Well, there's the uh, scaled camper trailer. I did one film with that and just hadn't really got out and done any more with it, but I will. But as you see, I got my servos, uh, brushless motors, brush motors. I got ESCs. I got you know brush ESCs, uh, brushless ESCs, <laughs> a lot of ESCs and motors and stuff for all of my RC vehicles. Uh, turn it around again. I got some of my controllers here. That's for the Rescue 17 Fireboat. That's for my Sherman tank from Hen Long. That's for the Walker Bulldog tank. And I got some of my uh, toy grade ones that go to my uh, yeah, my construction fleet. <laughs> so yeah. And uh, of course on this side right here. Got some other controllers. Some pistol grip controllers. Ones I use for my my crawler actually and that's just a spare one which never used this one 
bought it and really never used it. It's a three channel, which I might actually use it on this build. And of course another one. And then of course some spare parts for my crawler and some tires. Like I said on this side here, just more spare parts, stuff I might need just in case. Uh, DJI, that's yeah, DJI, that's my uh, propellers in there. So, uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, so that's it. All right, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and get the video started. Like, this is going to be a really short video because, like I said, I've gone ahead and already kind of pre assembled everything because it's just going to save a little more time doing it. Uh, because when it comes to the steering linkage, I have to match up the right measurements for it. So just um, a little difficult in this part here installing that. So, But I would try to film it as much as I can, guys. Okay? So enough with me yapping and jacking and all that good stuff. So let's get to the build. Get this thing put together. So hopefully I can get out and, and run this thing. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, so... Let's get started with the build. 